Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here. Today I'm going to discuss the commonly held misconception that autism generally occurs in white males more often than any other group, and go over information which indicates this is a result of bias in the diagnostic process, as well as differences in presentation. Women, and people of color, have clearly been historically underdiagnosed, with many autistic people falling through the cracks and never receiving support due to diagnostic bias. The importance of this subject moving forward cannot be understated, as support and accommodation are incredibly vital in nurturing the potential of autistic people. Historically, boys have been considered to be at least four times more likely to be autistic than girls. More recent research indicates this misconception was based on a number of factors. The classic criteria for diagnosing autism, characterized by social difficulties, inflexible thinking, and repetitive behavior, was based on data derived almost entirely from boys. Indeed, so much of the research has focused primarily on studying autism in boys that it's unsurprising this misconception exists. A 2012 study by Francesca Happe of King's College London, quote, found that if boys and girls had a similar level of such traits, the girls needed to have either more behavioral problems or significant intellectual disability, or both, to be diagnosed, end quote. Research also found indications that girls may hide their autistic traits and associated behavior more effectively than boys do, perhaps compensating better overall. Clearly, criteria which would typically be used to diagnose boys is unlikely to effectively translate to diagnosing girls. This alone would be enough to skew the numbers. It's important moving forward to adapt the diagnostic process to properly accommodate girls as effectively as boys, as research shows that going undiagnosed without proper support can cause negative emotional and psychological effects. Another major issue in autism diagnosis numbers is the comparatively low number of diagnosed autistic people of color. A 2002 study by Mandel, Listerud, Levy, and Pinto Martin meant to, quote, examine racial differences in the age at which Medicaid-eligible children first receive an autistic disorder diagnosis and to examine time in mental health treatment until an AD diagnosis was received, end quote, showed that, quote, on average, white children received the AD diagnosis at 6.3 years of age, compared with 7.9 years for black children, end quote. The study also found that even after adjusting for various factors, quote, Black children required more time in treatment before receiving the diagnosis, end quote. As I've stated previously, accommodations and support are incredibly important, and the sooner that starts, the better it is usually overall for the individual. Many studies indicate autism may present differently in different groups. Historically, there has been a cookie-cutter approach to viewing and diagnosing autism based on inaccuracies, stereotypes, and misconceptions. Because of this, Many autistic people have missed out on a diagnosis which might give perspective on various issues they face and provide a framework for adaptation. More research needs to be done on how autism presents in different individuals in order to make sure historical bias isn't preventing people from being diagnosed and receiving support and accommodations. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for coming by, and have a good day. Hey everybody, Ultimate Oddball here. If you want to stay up to date with my videos, click subscribe. I release a new video on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I do gaming commentary and review. I talk about my experiences on the autism spectrum. And I share my opinions and thoughts on a variety of matters. My hope is that, through my videos, I can help to dispel some of the misinformation, confusion, and negativity people have regarding autism. Thank you for helping me do that by watching these videos.